everyone thank you so much for stopping by my channel this is simply kiwi if you're new to the channel please go ahead and click on that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell to receive notifications when i upload a new video i am doing another fourth of july manicure and i saw a young lady do a manicure with the double stamping and I wanted to try that to see how well it works and I have been practicing and it did I did pretty well um, her name is and I've started watching her and she does a great and awesome job on her um, manicures manicures her name her YouTube name is um, nail art by Anita M and um, I'm going to show you how I did it now it might not be perfect but this is how I did it um, but as you can see I did two different styles on my nails I did some swipes on uh, my thumb middle and pinky and then I did some stamping on my index and ring fingers so let me show you the items I'll be using today. Um, the first polish is the Kiss Gel New York. This is another one that I've gotten from the uh, beauty supply store, but you'll see that in my haul. It's called Mystery Ocean. And I'm also using holographic polishes as well. The next one is Color Club, and it's Spell It Out. My next one is a Born Pretty Color, and it has the number 7 on the bottom. Not sure what name that is. And then I've got my Born Pretty Stamping Polishes, the White and the Red. And I'm using, let's see, four different plates. This first one is SE18. And I've used this image here. The next one is SE20. I've used those two images at the bottom, which are the stars. And also these little three images on the side here, if you can see that, those little stars right here. The next one is SE19. And this star on the side here. And my Born Pretty Plate L020, which I've used before, but I'm looking at this image right here with the lines. All right, now on my hand, I do have the, I did use for the base, oomph, peel off base coat, and then two coats of this Kiss Gel New York. And then I put a top coat and I'm trying this top coat that I found at a store, um, Sinful, Sinful Shine Top Coat. And then Sesh Feet. All right, so let me show you on this hand here what I'll be doing. I've already got most of the nails done. And you can see this image here that I stamped. And it did exactly what I wanted to do. You see the stripes, the two colors mesh together. So what you'll do is you pick an image, which I have here. You pick an image that has, you know, a solid picture or some stripes. 
which I have here. I'm going to do that first. And I've got my Born Pretty stamp. So I'm going to get my watch. You've got to work quickly. And my stamp. Then I'm going to take this stamp, this plate here, I'm sorry. Put the red, and this red is so bright. Scrape that. Then put your stamp image on top and roll it. And see how it leaves the image behind? It leaves the image of the stripes and the image of the star. And as you can see, those two colors meshed together. And now white. stamper and we're going to go ahead and put the red on the star all right and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that image on and there you go You can see that I was probably out of frame and I'm sorry and there's the image it's mesh. you can see it's meshed together with the white and the red the stripes and for me that signifies the stripes on the flag and also the stars signifies the stars on the flag and then of course I've got my blue <laughs> palette here and I'm going to get my holographic polishes and just plop some color down just a little bit just a drop or two that was probably too much for the nail that I'm going to be doing it on but that's okay and this is just a brush um, that I've gotten from my local craft store I can't remember if I've gotten this one. I think I got this one from Marshalls. Not Marshalls. Michaels. And it's just a, a detailing brush. You see the little small end there. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the gray holographic. And I'm just going to put this to the side. And I'm just going to swipe it across my nail. And I'm going to take some of the blue and swipe it across like so. Okay. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much the manicure. And, of course, I'm going to seal it off with Sesh Feet. You let me know what you think about this 4th of July manicure. And what you're doing for your manicure. I really like this. I um, had fun learning the new technique. So, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. You guys, be blessed.